Hello, Pastor Vim. This is another time with Pastor Vim today. Yes. Just a quick Q&A. Before. Woo! Yes. <laughs> Sexy retreat oui. the August the 24th is the day. Yeah. <laughs> we can't wait. Yeah. But I just wanted to have a little quick time with you in regards to people that want to attend, who may not attend before, or first timers that may be coming. Just some questions for them that they may need to get to know what will happen at this retreat. So first question first. Is this a fasting retreat? No, it's not a fasting retreat. Yeah, it's a kind of retreat where you come and enjoy yourself in the presence of the Lord. We do all the fasting before the retreat to prepare for those who are coming so that when they come, it's, relax it's relaxation, it's fun, it's feeding well, you know, just enjoying the ambience and uh, being in the presence of God. All the fasting would have been done ahead so that you can find it a relaxing one and one that refreshes you. Thank you. And how long is the retreat? Yeah, the retreat is over two nights or more like three days. So you arrive on the Wednesday and then you have the whole of Thursday and we'll be leaving on, on, uh, on the Friday. When we're leaving on the Friday, we're not talking first thing in the morning. We're talking about afternoon. So it's literally like three days at, at, at all. So you're going to find yourself being blessed by women from all walks of life. You're going to be having spiritual impute from versatile women in specific areas, the young adults to those close to marriage and those who are you know, still looking forward to God, um, aligning them with meeting the bone of their bone. Lectures will be given on the guidance that you will need to live a very happy, beautiful life. And for other aspects of the retreat, it will be in depth so that deep will collect onto deep and you can just enjoy God, refresh yourself with the, the beautiful, fresh, organic food that will be served and the environment it's just supposed to make you feel God. Even in your sleep, you will find God talking to you because the atmosphere is so serene. Especially after being loaded, fed with, you know, the word of God from women who have been seeking the face of God just for you. Sounds so exciting. So, will there be time for personal reflection time during the retreat or is it only group activities? Um, you're going to have um, personal reflection time. Um, almost every day the reason is because we want you to have a one-on-one -on -one with god and it is when you are able to reflect on what has been taught in the i mean in the hall and you go back to your room you have a reflection where you and god you know have a dialogue or you're meditating and um you you would see that um you are able to enjoy the the conference better that way because this retreat is designed to make you just relax and get to know God more. It's about you and God most of the time. So there are times for you to have a one-on-one -on -one with God and retreat in your room personally. Does this year's retreat have any theme at all to it? A theme in terms of a name for this conference at all or any dress code? Yeah, um, the general impression about this retreat is to give you um, self value. You know, it's more of a me time. And um, the goal is that at the end of the retreat, you see yourself as someone that God has called and has chosen to be like an effulgence of his glory. And that's why we have um, the Isaiah that um, passage that we have quoted in the flyer so that when you look at it, you see yourself as a sign and uh, a glory that God will use for the people who are in your sphere of contact because you couldn't have experienced that kind of um, impact with God and remain the same. And regarding dress code, there is really no dress code. We want you to be free, just be, you know, um, I would say maybe semi-casual or casual, just anything you are comfortable in. You might be smart casual as well. Just be yourself. It's a me time, really. Thank you. And in terms of prayer, will there be opportunity to be prayed for and um, bring prayer requests or how does it, how will it work if I have any prayer requests on the day? Yeah, there's so many opportunities for that. Yeah, it's very early morning prayers 
where it's um, very informal and you'll be able to express yourself, give your prayer points. That, that session is usually very semi-formal. Everybody is, every, somebody is not just when we have sessions in the afternoon, in the morning, when there is somebody with a mic, everybody can interject, you can be yourself. It's just like a family gathering in the morning, as long as it's not during the sessions when we've got uh, guest ministers speaking. But the very early morning session, people can pray for you, you can pray for others, where you just flex your wings and just be in the presence of God in a very informal way. So that's the opportunity to ask for people to pray for you because the ministers will be there to waiting on you if you need such um, help. Thank you. Any final word, Pastor Bim? Yeah, the final word I would uh, leave is uh, to ensure that you are there. If you're listening to me, just make sure you are there because I cannot convince you enough because, I mean, the participants last year, they will tell you that every moment was loaded. This cannot be overemphasized that you can't afford to miss this opportunity. It happens once in August and before another shows up, it's another 12 months. So take advantage of it. Be part of it this time because I still remember that some people who attended last year, they are still benefiting today because they took the right step being part of it and by now they are able to, you know, showcase, show off what the Lord has done for them. Don't delay, make it a date with God. Don't let money stop you. Find your way there, just be there. It's the, going to be the beginning of new things in your life. A paradigm shift, I assure you. And uh, you've never experienced anything like this. Be there because God is waiting for you. Amen.